Okay, so this team right here, I just wanted to use the black lamb. I don't think I've ever actually used uh, any kind of lamb before in a team. They do have a really nice chew stampede combo where you just use chew and on your next turn it will attack even if you switch out your pet. But if you use stampede during your next turn, they'll have a 100% damage bonus on them where chew will do double damage. That's the best way to use the black lamb. Not half bad. He also has pretty damn nice health. Uh, I have the HP breed for some reason. I think it's just like the only breed I had at level 25 and I just kind of threw it into a team. Now that I'm looking at the breeds though, um, I guess HS might, yeah, HP, since he doesn't have a power power breed available to him. Uh, and he doesn't really need the speed because he doesn't have flurry. I would say HS if he had Flurry, but he doesn't. So HP might actually be the best breed since health is good and this guy is kind of a hard hitter but since he goes for Stampede and Chew combo. HP is a pretty good breed for it. I'd say Power Speed is another really good one too. So yeah, HP or the PS one, those are two really good ones for him. Just because he hits hard. And the extra health is always nice. Allows you to live like an extra turn sometimes which is allows you to get off another ability which could actually be more damage over the long run but since he's kind of slow he might not uh, if you're a little bit faster than normal pets maybe but none of his speeds are all that fast they're all kind of slow for fast pets I mean an S type in the breed whatever uh, and then I've just got Zephros in here just because I mean the crow I keep calling it Zephros by its nickname I know the crow is Zephros more than I do by crow. I try to call them by their actual names besides their nicknames, but if they got a good dick's name that fits them so well, I call them by that. Zephros is the name of a, a really popular Yu-Gi-Oh card uh, based on black wings. There are a whole bunch of crow archetypes and he's a crow, so you know it fits it perfectly and I use Zephros in a lot of decks because it's really good. So he's Zephros to me, but I mean I guess he's just a normal crow. And then, oh, Crows, uh, why not him in here? Because he just hits really hard. I just wanted to try it out. I was like, oh, I have Black Lamb, and I'm just going to do two other pets that are just really good on any team. Crows, they just hit really damn hard, and it doesn't really, uh, it's not a detriment to the Black Lamb, so I just wanted to try that out. Try a hard hitter, and then I just have the Ghastly Kid in here, because I like to have a tier one pet. That's kind of a cleanup, even though Ghastly Kid is more of a starter. He's not really a cleanup. But he does well as a cleanup too, because of Athrol and Hoof doesn't, it hits pretty damn hard too. Uh, plus, you know, you start off with Haunt, and if you can use Black Lamb with, uh, you know, Haunt on them, that's more damage. I mean, yeah, they'll usually stay in, because switching out with Haunt is not really a smart thing to do either. So they might actually stay in for the Stampede and take double damage from it. So it's not that bad of a strategy. Uh, that's why I put him in here. Yeah, that's right. I wanted to use Haunt, and I didn't want to use the Unborn Valk. Uh, yeah, so that's the team. It's not half bad. Uh, Black Lamb is actually a decent tier two. I don't know. I want it's. I want to call it tier two only because it counters undeads, and you see a lot of undeads in the meta. Plus, he hits pretty damn hard if you use Chew and Stampede. Even if you don't, Comeback also hits pretty damn hard too. Uh, I went on this really long exp. Uh, exposition I think that's the word for it in like the middle of one of the bit in the pet battle videos talking about how comeback doesn't work like uh, that one ability fuck I forgot what it's called and uh, like early advantage and then later on I found out that it does work exactly like in early advantage so just ignore that part cuz I'm not gonna edit it out oh my what an easy win. <laughs> Alright, so I'm going to start off with the Ghastly Kid. Uh, if he goes with the Idol, then that means I'm going to go into my bird next. Obviously, I'm going to use Haunt right here. Sandstorm would be a problem if I didn't have a weather change effect. But I do. Oh, he didn't do anything. Okay, so I'm going to go for Alpha Strike until he uses Sandstorm. The longer he waits to use it, the better for me, because Haunch is going to be doing damage to him. There's Sandstorm. Uh, did he just not attack last time? I guess not. It looks like he used... 
Oh, rapture or something. I guess the effect just didn't go off. Hmm, weird. Alright, Nubasath Idol's down. He was my biggest threat. Uh, Ghastly Kid's alive. Chrominius is out. Obviously, I'm gonna switch because that would be crazy to stay in on him. Hmm, Black Lamb has a bad matchup if he has Bite. So we're gonna have to go to Vincent Van Goat. Oh! Oh shit, son. He went straight into Surge of Power. Oh, I wasn't expecting that. <laughs> I switched, though. Alright, so I'm gonna go into an Ethel right here because he can actually attack me this turn, and I'm just using it so I can get a turn uh, to let Haunt come off cooldown faster. Since that's one turn where I'm not taking any damage, and one turn where Haunt comes off cooldown. Alright, Haunt it is. Crap, he was able to attack me. That's fine. I should be able to kill him. He still has three turns on Surge of Power. I gotta... I gotta watch out. Uh, am I faster than him? I, I am a little bit faster. It doesn't quite hit hard enough, though. Uh, maybe I should just go into Black Lamb. Crap, I know he has Bite. Oh, this is annoying. Should I go for Chu first and then Stampede, or just go for Stampede right off the bat? That way, he, Haunt takes extra damage. There we go. Stampede right off the bat. Alright, he can always just surge a power to kill me. Oh, no, 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 don't die, don't die, don't die. Oh, thank goodness. <laughs> it's like if he went for a surge of power. Oh, shit, it was on cooldown. Okay. Oh, cool. Uh, shit, we have exactly the same amount of speed. Oh, I was about to say, there's a chance that I won't be able to get my debuff on him. But I did. So, okay. Uh, I can just go into Vincent Van Goat and just seal the win right here. Let's go Vincent Van Goat. Oh shit, he still has two turns of Shattered Defense. That's fine. I was expecting to die anyway. I wasn't actually trying to survive. He only hit up like 100, so that's not really a big deal. And then I can get off one more hoof. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Looks like he... He might be able to kill my Zephros. If it wasn't for the fact that I have Call Darkness off cooldown, and he's below 35% health, so I don't have to worry about his magic racial kicking in. Ooh, That was kind of a dicey win. I had to do a lot of thinking for that. I don't like thinking too much. I like to just go in and stick to a set strategy, not have to try to counter them. Oh god, this team. Alright, so I might be able just to get off a haunt right off the bat. And I'm not gonna chance it. I'm gonna go for a hoof. God damn it. <laughs> you know what I was gonna do was just haunt right off the bat, because usually teams will use multiple Pandaren Dragonlings. Go for a Thunderbolt first and then decoy. But uh, okay, now I'm going to go for my haunt. Let's significantly cut down his AoE damage for the fossilized hatchling that's about to come out. And let's do black lamb. Uh, I know decoy is going to come soon. Soon-ish. Alright, and now let's go for stampede. Even if he uses decoy, I'm still going to get him. At least one time, Shattered Defense and Chew. Oh shit, son! <laughs> you just got spooked by the Black Lamb. Black Lamb, too powerful for your stupid. Oh shit, Fossilized Hatchling. This is a pretty good matchup for me. Pretty good match. Oh shit, yeah, that's right. He still has Haunt and Shattered Defense going. <laughs> <laughs> He's gonna die in the back row. That's great. Alright, so deals if you have lower health than the target. Hmm. I do have lower health. I want to see if this kind of works. Uh, let's see if it'll work like early advantage. Uh, I think it did. I mean, it doesn't. Early advantage. 
works a little strangely. So, what was I saying? Oh, yeah, early advantage is this one move that has three round cooldown on it. Whenever I, I talk about abilities, I always assume that the person who's watching the video has never like watched uh, a video before. So, early advantage is this one move with an elemental type ability, has three round cooldown, does a lot of damage, and it will do extra damage if your opponent has, uh, whatchamacallit, if your opponent has less, more health than you. But it does the damage in two ticks. So, if the first tick of damage brings them below a percentage that's lower than your health, then it won't do the second part of damage, which you should have happened since you had low health when you used the ability. It doesn't work that way. Crap. Fucking Dragon Lane. No, Zephros! <laughs> now I have to rely on Vincent Van Goat. I might actually be able to do this. All I have to do is just save Ethroll for Thunderbolt. I'm just gonna assume he's gonna use it off cooldown. Let's pay attention to this this match that's coming up. Oh, uh, I'm still gonna use it off cooldown. Just because fuck you, Pandaren Dragon Lane. There, I just took away any chance you had at winning. <laughs> All at the same time, waiting for darkness to go away to guarantee a hoof. Because I only had 90% chance to hit, which sounds like a lot, but it's more like even 10% chance to miss. So, yeah. I totally wrecked his team because Black Lamb. Okay, it's good to know. Comeback doesn't work like early advantage. It works better. Here, let me just show you what early advantage is since I was talking about it so much. Oh, here he is. This guy has it. Early advantage deals 280 elemental damage, deals double damage if the user has lower health. See, so this one deals additional damage if the user has lower health than the target. It does the damage added to the original damage, while early advantage does the damage after the first amount of damage. So, uh, looks like comeback is a better version of early advantage. It works the way early advantage should work, but doesn't work because early advantage is a pain in the ass to use. So, that's good to know that comeback uh, isn't stupid. Alright, so for this combo, uh, Ghastly Kid's a bad start off just in case he comes out with Chuck. Zephros has a good matchup against his entire team. Black Lamb has a potentially bad, I'm pretty sure Kunlai Runt is going for something else. So I'm going to go straight for uh, Call Darkness and hope he doesn't go into a Heartbroken on his next turn. Nope, he went straight for Yui. Alright, that's fine. That means I have a few turns to kill him. I should be able to pull that off. Uh, Tantrum doesn't really do that much damage without Heartbroken. So even if I let him go through a full Tantrum, it's not really that big a deal. Looks like a couple of them are also missing too. Come on, we've been doing really good with Alpha Strikes. Let's not miss this next one. We got it, we got it. Oh shit, Zephros is taking a lot of damage. Yeah, it always does more damage to the frontline pet than it does the backline ones. And good job. He was only able to get off a full tantrum. But that's not half bad. That means I killed him in three turns. Alright. Now we got a Kunlein Runt. Zephros is still faster than him. Uh, I kind of want him available for... Uh, Chuck so I'm gonna go into the black lamb because he has a good chance of actually fucking surviving under this <laughs> so uh, let's see frost shock that's fine I can't be stunned even though I have like shit for actual damaged against him I should still be able to hit him pretty damn hard with this combo so stampede and then chew yeah still hit him for 500 damage that's quite a bit and I can't be stunned, so I'm totally immune to Deep Freeze. And I also take less damage from those two abilities. So we both do less damage to each other. Uh, let's see, who has less health? I do. He also has a chance to go first, so I should probably just come back right here. Since it'll probably hit about as hard as a Chew. And... Boom! Extra hit. Oh shit, it does do the damage in two ticks. It does work exactly like that shitty move that I hate. Ugh. Ugh. Okay, so. 
Uh, I'm just going to wait for the free switch. There we go. And then I'm going to go into Zephros. And finish him off with an Alpha Strike. Boo hoo! Alright, so if I go for a Call Darkness and a Nocturnal Strike, that might be enough to kill him. Or I can just go for Alpha Strikes. I don't know, I kind of want to go for the Call Darkness Alpha Strike combo. Just because it's a lot of damage. There we go. And looks like he's going to kill me with Blood in the Water. Always hits if the target's bleeding, but I'm also going to do a shit ton of damage to him with this Nocturnal Strike. Almost enough to kill him. Not quite, though. But I had a full health Ghastly Kid in the back row who definitely would have been able to pull it off. 